All right, buddy. So what's your name and where are you from for the people that don't already know? Uh, my name Chill Will, man, from the east side of Columbus, the far east side. East side Columbus, of Columbus. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Yes, sir. Okay, I heard, uh, sorry, I was getting the audio a bit right there on that, but uh, I heard Columbus, Ohio is pretty active, man. Columbus, Ohio is active for sure. Yeah? For sure. It's a big city. Yeah? It's a big city. It's a lot going on. Yeah. It's a nice It's a nice place too, though. It's a nice place, but it's a lot going on here. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, just like everyone else, I like to hear the beginning to everybody's story. Uh, what led you down this dark path, man? Where did it all begin? <laughs> okay. It all began, honestly, for real. Like, I grew up on the street called Main Street, you know what I mean? Eastside Columbus. And uh, it's drug infested. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of drug infested, you know what I mean? And I was a good kid. Listen to my mom, dad, all of that. But when my dad went to prison, you know how I go. Mom Duke's working all day. You just go outside. That's all it be. You just go outside. And when I went outside, there's a lot going on. There was a lot going on. A lot of well, drugs. A lot well, of drugs. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, when it comes down to your father being uh, mm -hmm. locked up, uh, would you say that played a major role? Did it feel, you know, a lot of people look up to their father. Did you look up to him in a sense now, hey, maybe I should try to go down that same dark path, maybe become closer to my dad in that sense? That's crazy you asked that. That's crazy you asked that. Because, yeah, like, I wanted to do everything my dad did. Oh, like, man. Like, I, I wanted to do everything my brothers did, my uncles did, and... And everything was just drug related. Damn, man. You know, yeah. it, you know, that happens to a lot of people, man. You know, I heard a lot right. of stories, and uh, it seems like that seems to uh, be a common theme. Right, uh, right. I look up to my dad, you know, and he was always a good guy, so I guess mm -hmm. I'm trying to be a good guy now, too. That's a fact. <laughs> you know what that I mean? Makes sense. You that know, makes sense. Uh, and, and when my dad, on his last, on my dad's last prison term, he uh he left like the eighth grade summer going into ninth grade, so the most pivotal points of my life, you know, what I mean, it was bad. It was bad. Oh, you were in eighth ninth grade when he got yeah. locked. Yeah. Oh man. On this, on this last one, my dad a hunter now. He straight a one now. But yeah, on this last on this last bid, he went to prison, and like oh five like the summertime going into ninth grade mm -hmm. going into ninth grade so yeah that's the most dangerous times my most friend dangerous most times. dangerous yeah that's it cranks good. up a notch you go into high school and you know you got seniors you're looking up to and all kinds of stuff man trying mm -hmm. to fit in get in the mix and be the popular one I, i've done sure. lived, everyone's done lived that just about you know uh for sure all right well you know, this is just a message for anyone viewing out there. Uh, mm -hmm. If your father is getting locked up or something like that, man, you might want to get closer to him. That's not the way to do it. You know, That's just, not the way just, at just all. write him a letter, and right. I promise you, your pops will be much happier with you being free. A hundred percent. Trust and believe. All right. So, 100%. is your dad out now? Yes, my dad's been out. My dad's got out when I went in. Ain't that oh. Crazy? oh man, that's horrible, man. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. I was in for like a year. My dad got out off of doing eight. Oh, eight. man. Damn. Terrible. Yeah, he was probably hoping to pray you ain't trick that up, you know, going in there. Was he in Ohio, too? Uh, My dad was in the feds, so he was different oh, places. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just went um, to the state. All right. And, uh, well, I'm, you're, you said there's a lot of drugs around. Uh, yeah. Is that what led you down uh, to uh, the penitentiary or what? No. No. It was like... The drugs had nothing to do with it. Like when I was indulging, you know, selling or whatever, statute of limitation, whatever, back then, whatever. But it that would never would let up. What led up to it was my my best friend had got murdered. You know what I mean? He got murdered. And it was just a downhill. Like the day or day before he got murdered, he had bonded me out on a forgery. I had caught a forgery and I was doing some dumb stuff with some fake money, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he bonded me out on Wednesday, and then on Friday, he got killed. You know what I mean? So after that, it was just downhill. I didn't care. I didn't I didn't care. I didn't care about living. I didn't care about dying. And then after, after a point, it came in my head, and I was like, well, if I go to prison, I could be alive. You know what I mean? What do you, you mean know? by that? Uh, if I'm out here on the street, I'm just doing everything. I'm just wilding out. Like, I'm just wilding out. Like, I got crazy... I was doing crazy stuff, guns, everything, all the drugs, all the making money, all that stuff was out. 
Did you I, I think wanna... that, uh, I hate to stop you, did you think that what they did to your homeboy they are going to do to you? Or I was going to do it to them in the process. However, however, I accepted that fact. I accepted that fact. That's wild, man. Yeah, I accepted it. So the way I was living, I just was living contrary to the good life. And I was just outside. Yeah. And I was outside. And then I think like three months after that, I, I got I caught another case, a dumb robbery. Like it was just like it was just like made no sense. Like it was just a random robbery, like a split, split second robbery. Then after that, I went to prison immediately. I got three years off the bat, like off rip. So but in my head, I was like, okay, I'm not dead. I made it over that hump. So now I'm alive. So now that guy gave me another opportunity. Let me switch it up. Yeah. Let me switch it up. And it's so, from that day four, it was over with. So going into prison, you decided to switch it up. Yeah, in the streets. But yeah. mind you, I'm already from where I'm from. So I'm really, I'm, you can leave it alone, but you can't leave it alone. So yeah, there are always going to be someone throwing yeah. you back in the mix a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. I understand but that. But I wasn't tripping on that. I wasn't tripping. Like, I'm here. Like, I wasn't, like, I was done living reckless, but I wasn't done with the street life at all. Let me make that clear. I was done just doing dumb stuff and just playing with guns and all of that. But now I'm going to do it the right way. Yeah. The yeah, street see, way. One right. thing that I've recognized is that, you know, uh, individuals that have enemies uh a lot of times they're in like a suburban neighborhood that ain't too dangerous they could have an enemy get locked up and never see their enemy again but i've realized that in the projects or anywhere close first to day. it you first will day. see your enemy again you know first, i'm telling you first day as soon as you come in your name what uh, my name is so-and-so. Oh, like, we yeah. know, y'all. <laughs> you know you. Come here. We got some people over here that, that know you. Remember, yeah. uh, remember little blah, blah, blah that y'all did that to? His uncle and cousins is right here. Come on, man. Come on in. Yeah. Don't even put your box down. We got you. Yeah. Yeah. It don't happen like that too much in, in them suburban spots. Yeah. A lot of those enemies never even see lock up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, I understand, man. Uh, you can always be thrown back in the mix, especially in an area... Sure. It's well known by a lot of gangsters. Anyways, uh, all right. So, what are the initial charges that sent you up the road? Okay, so I caught, uh, like in Ohio, they like to indict, you, over indict you, and make you plead. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I got indicted to uh, robbery. What was it? Aggravated robbery. Aggravated robbery with a gun, but I never mm -hmm. got caught with a gun. So I'm like, how? How can I that in? So. They made my bond. My bond was two hundred fifty thousand. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. right. My bond was two hundred fifty thousand. Then you got to wait a week or whatever to get you reduced or whatever. They made it fifty thousand. Then they dropped the gun and they dropped the aggravated part and gave me the robbery. Oh, that's all right. That was cool. That was yeah, cool. yeah. That's cool. But robbery is still treacherous. Robbery is treacherous. <laughs> robbery is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I it could have been something hey, else. I promise. I've Death seen more. Something. Look, I've seen more people beat ro uh, murders than robberies. Not beating a robbery. You're not beating a robbery. <laughs> I was trying to get it down to theft and all this. They like, no, sir. Robbery. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But at least some of those got knocked off for you. All right. right. Uh, then well, I was fighting it. They, they tried to give me, they offered me eight. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. So we fighting it for like a two, like a month. Like I fought my case quick. Like when I went to jail, when I went to prison, I had like thirty something days jail time credit. Like it was over with. But they offered me thirty months after the eight. What quickly? Break it here. Come on. Yeah, thirty like, months out the way. God, can you imagine those people that just jump on anything? They would have had an eight clip. Eight clip. Eight. Peace. In, in Ohio, man. in Ohio, ah. if you get if you get over five years, you got to do the whole five before you can try to get out early. Like if you get like four, that's why a lot of times in Ohio, when people get four years and eleven months, that keep them under the five year. Range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's let's back backtrack it before we head into the penitentiary, man. Did you okay. uh, were you prepared for the jail scene? You know, was there any issues there? Did you hear anything from people or whatever? You know, or yeah. Were you so, the fresh fish for a few weeks type of dude or what? So listen, so when I went to when I went to jail in, in, in Columbus, we got a county jail called the workhouse. The workhouse, all right. 
crazy. Like it's crazy, 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 crazy. But when I was doing my crimes, I never did my crimes inside of Columbus. I did my side, my top, my crimes on the outskirts, yeah, like Lancaster and like Reynoldsburg and stuff. So when I went to jail, I went to Lancaster uh, County Jail, and like Lancaster is like like white people, like yeah. out in the oh. suburb, like suburbs. Like, it was a nice suburbs, jail. Like, no, it's, oh. it's, it's a terrible jail <laughs> for, for for the dynamic. Okay, you understand? I'm not white, as you can see. Oh, and when man. I go out there, I'm the only white dude in there. Only so, black black dude in there. The only black dude in there. <laughs> and vice versa, <laughs> when you went, when you went um, at the workhouse, the white dudes are the minority. And then when you go to the, the white jail, I was the minority. So I had I had braces. I had braces, man. Oh, when I tell, listen, my. like you know, look, you know how they put you in, like when you um when they put you in the, in the pod, <laughs> and they open up that door and they bring your man in, they close that door, you sit in there, and then they open up another door. Man, when I tell you they put me in that first door, and the it was the the pod was overcrowded. It was like a twenty manner, and it was like twenty four people in there, bro. And when I when I'm looking in there, all I'm seeing is swastikas. And like, oh man, you know, you know what's going on? They walking in circles. I just see straight swastikas, oh, and they yoke too. They big, so I'm like, I'm ready. Off rip. As oh, soon as I get man. in here, I'm popping. Off rip. So they put me in there. They set me down. I'm sitting down in the little boat, the little you know, the little mat thing. Yeah, a little use. plastic boat. Yeah, man. I was in there for five minutes. Why I get to popping my braces off? You started popping your braces off? I popped my braces off. Why? If, if you hit me in my mouth and my lip gets stuck and my mouth get anything stuck, I'm gonna be out of commission. Yeah. Oh, like when you man. get braces, when you get braces and, and somebody like like say you play basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. and somebody hits you in your mouth, your lip gets stuck to your brackets and you gotta rip, physically rip it off. Then things are hard to take off. I seen someone do it in the cell block though. I have seen it. <laughs> them county, them Bob Barker cups, the plastic cups. <laughs> I took the wire out first, and I was just putting it under the bracket. Pop, pop, pop. It took wow. me like two hours. Mind you, and then everybody just walking. I ain't talking to nobody. I was in there for like a week. It didn't but, hurt? Nah, because it's glue on top of your teeth. Okay. Man, I was in there for about a week and a half. I ain't getting no smoke or nothing. Nobody said nothing crazy. Nobody did nothing or none of that. It took you know them I mean? all for nothing. For nothing. Oh, I like, oh, five bands down the drain. <laughs> so. <laughs> did you get him put back on? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh. Eventually. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I was about that to say, your teeth looking all right right now, bro. Maybe Appreciate they should have been off. <laughs> man, I was sorry. It was cool in there. I was chopping it with them. They was kicking Hold on, man. Day. Hold on, man. Let's, I got to backtrack here. Man. I got to backtrack, man. So you're in the White House. <laughs> I'm in the White House. <laughs> Gated in. Nothing but white face honey buns and inmates, man. Man, swastikas. Uh, big, good. tall, small, short. All right, so look, that's one thing I want people to understand. And and they might people might have the wrong impression. Uh I've been surrounded by, you know, guys like that too, but I have never mm -hmm. seen them type individuals in my whole time being locked up, attack mm -hmm. another black guy. I've That's never seen it. It's the perception. Never. Yeah, the it, perception. it is. It is, bro. And I'm sure it happens. But let's say mm -hmm. like in California where it's segregated stuff. Now, that's different. It might. No, honestly, it probably mm -hmm. definitely wouldn't happen as much because mm -hmm. it's going to turn into a race war. You know that's what I mean? Fact. And a lot that's of people fact. will die. So that makes sense. Uh, you know, um, that's just my assumption. But from what I've seen, I've never seen a white organization take flight on anyone other than their own people man that's a fact know? uh so i can see how they didn't mess with you or anything um, yeah and i didn't come in like rowdy like you gotta understand like i'm from the streets so yeah. when i came in i came in respected because i'm giving respect you know what i mean i'm not trying to jump in i'm not trying to interject myself i'm not trying to do nothing out of the norm come in mind my business yeah and that was just from the street that wasn't even jail like that was just street but it all correlated to jail yeah let me ask you this, man. When it came down to doing dirt on the outskirts, right? I remember I used to do stuff like that, right? In certain mm -hmm. cities because I knew that if I got caught, I'd yeah. be in a way nicer jail than, mm -hmm. let's say, Norfolk City where I was from. You don't want to go there. You know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, right, right, right. Uh, is that why you were doing that, like, more in the outskirts? You didn't really want to go into the Columbus scene if you got caught up? Nah, I was doing it in the outskirts because in my dumb head, if I caught a case out here, they more lenient. 
but not understanding the dynamics of the way that the legislature worked out there is the total opposite. Yeah. They, they, they want to make an example. Yeah. The city but, probably sees it a lot more. Exactly. Exact. There you go. The city sees it a lot more. So it's like, okay, that's normal to them out there. You come out there just terrorizing. Like, okay, we got something for that. Yeah. No need to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense for sure. All right. Uh, so you go into jail, mm -hmm. popping off the braces. Turns out you ain't got no issues. Uh, did right. you link? Who did you link up in there with? Was there any other black guys in there other than you? Man, R.I.P. My homeboy K. Damn. My homeboy K. He was in there. His name Brandon. He was in there, and, and then uh, he came after a second. And uh, his girl used to send him lyrics, like written lyrics. You know what I mean? We used to be reading them. She had the locked up lyrics, and uh, we used to be seeing seeing them, reading them and stuff. Yeah. Damn, yeah. man. He passed away. Yeah, he passed away, man. You know, it's Ohio, man. It's a lot. Everybody dropping. Everybody yeah. dropping. Yeah. That's sad, man. Rest in peace was K. K, yeah. Damn. So you get sentenced. How was that feeling, man? Were you a little bit worried about prison? Were you uh, sure you're hearing the rumors from everybody in there about prison, how it could be? When I got sentenced, I, I didn't take it serious. I was I really wasn't tripping. Like it's so crazy because when I got sentenced, I got sentenced in like a RIP shirt. Remember my I told you my friend just had died. Yeah, I killed my friend Julian. That was RIP Jew. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. killed. So when he got killed, I went to the I went to guy sentence. I had an RIP outfit on. You gotta understand this is court. Like this ain't no you know when you go to court, you got your button up on. You look yeah. nice. Dockers. I, I didn't care. I had on a whole RIP fit. Like I'm already going to jail, so whatever. Man, they they sent it to me. They like um, we we got to take you today. I'm like, whoa! Like I need to get my affairs in order. I seen that. I, I had seen that in the movie before. Like oh, I need to get my affairs in order. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> so they gave me a week. So I, I had a, I had a going away party. Oh damn! So they did give it to yeah, you. Yeah. Oh man! It was lit. I had a what? going away party. I had a cake. <laughs> we had took out everything. That's probably the absolute best way yeah to go to prison bro yeah yeah and then i was watching uh i was watching boosie this is around the time boosie mind you this is 2012 yeah so uh boosie had, was, was going to prison and uh boosie was doing a um a documentary uh -huh. he was doing the same thing i was going through and he was like when you go to when you're about to go to prison man you put on three pair of socks three shirts mm -hmm. three drawers, and all of that and then my mom was just looking at me like I'm like, I, that's what I gotta do. You know what I mean? This is gonna reduce the cost. Man, yeah. when I went to when I went to Lakers, they, man, take all that off, send it back home. They didn't they, were they, they white? None of this. Well, yeah, hands white. They didn't let you have no whites, huh? Take it all home, brother. Wow. I don't, know, I don't know why you did that. And I'm like, wow, okay. And that was jail. That was jail. Yeah. You, you gotta you know you gotta go to jail before you go to the reception center. Yeah, some people, uh, some places, I remember I did a video speaking about that. Where I was at, you could bring in any whites. They're going to let you have it. it That's what me. I'm saying. Some if places don't. If I the workhouse, they would have did the same thing. They might have used to right? and just stopped. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. 2012, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. like, dang. Yeah. Or, That's wild. Or it's a smaller, it's a smaller county, so. Trying to make that in, money. Me bringing in that three times is cutting off what, what they got going on. Yeah, yeah. You never it's yeah. like twenty dollars a piece. That's a fact. That's a fact. That could definitely be a possibility, man. Money Just makes learning. moves. <laughs> I promise. All right. Uh so you're going to prison, got a 30 month bid. Uh how much food. how much is that in comparison with the good time and all that uh, with Ohio? Do they even have good time out there? Yeah, yeah, we got good time. But it's a lot of earn, it. You get you get a you get a, a quite a few. You got to earn it though. Uh huh. You got to earn it. All right, go ahead. All right. Well, before we get into the earning of that, uh, okay. What was the process of when they called your name to go to prison? I know when I heard it, I was like scared but happy at the same time. Uh, how was how did Ohio or that county run it? Oh, so in the county, mind you, I told you like usually a lot of people that go to prison they have like two years in the county, a year in the county, eight months in the county. When I went, when I was in the county, I, I did like, like 30 something days. So when they, oh, wow. So when, um, when, uh, because I, I had bonded out and then I bonded out again, then it was over with. But when I was in Lancaster, um, when I turned myself in, I had to turn myself on a Wednesday, May 9th, 2012. And I turned myself in, 
and uh, I had to wait for like a week or so before the reception call you. And then when they call you, like they come in the morning, roll it up, whatever. And then they call a few of us, and then it's time to jump on that bus. Then you got to go to CRC in Oregon. CRC where? In Oregon, Ohio. Oh, I thought you said Oregon. I was like, God, nah, that's nah, a nah, long nah, reception, nah. man. That's a hell of a nah, drive. Nah. It's, All right. it's Oregon. Yeah. Well, uh, so you wake up. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there a, a few other people which you chained yep. up going to prison? Yeah. Right. yeah. It, was, it was one dude in there that is crazy. We left the same day, went to the same prison, got out the same day. Hey, I was uh, crazy, kind of a, bro. Yeah, I was in kind of a crazy situation like that. Got shipped Dude. to a uh, reception, had mm-hmm. a bunk mate, uh, and we got shipped different times to a different prison. But we ended up becoming bunk mates at that prison That's after crazy. reception. What are the odds of that, right? Shout crazy. out to uh, my homeboy DC, his name, uh, or Dre. He's from DC, man. Uh, Shout out anyways, DC. yeah. Uh, all right, so you're getting on this bus. How was the bus ride, man? How was that old, what many people call the Bluebird? <laughs> Jump on the Bluebird, and uh, mind you, you got to go to uh, you got to go to Orient, so it's probably like 30 minutes away. Uh-huh. It wasn't bad, like, it wasn't bad. It was like a, sh- a quick shot because I don't, I don't think, I don't know if people was just, it was too early. Or what, but it wasn't a far drive or nothing, but it, w- it was like real quick. Mm-hmm. It was real quick. Yeah. It was real quick. Uh, and you get out orientation, I guess, on on my, the way I say it would be classification, right? That's where they yeah, classify yeah, yeah. you and determine what prison you go to. Okay. With, fam- with family members you got at another facility, uh, do you have family, do you have family in this? What, what's, what, fa- what cities do you have family in so they could like get you closer to your family? Mm-hmm. In Ohio. Yeah. Uh, or it sounds pretty, you know, basic like every mm-hmm. other uh, reception. Yeah. Uh, how long were you there before you hit the main prison? Um, I got to my main prison J- June 1st. I'll, hey, you ain't got to be exact with the dates. I, I nah, I'm not even nah, good with dates myself. So nah, just, it's, it's, it's crazy because I remember those exact dates. Yeah, that's wild. Like, May 9th, 2012 is when I turned myself in. And when I got to my prison, it was January, it was uh, June 1st. And I remember it was hot as hell. Well, it was hot as heck. And I was looking at the ceiling and I was singing uh, that life, that life, life. Yeah. That, and I was salty, like, man, <laughs> somebody that did me wrong. <laughs> and I was salty. Why is I'm a kid? I'm like, nine, I'm like <sighs> early, early 19. Like, I just had turned 19. I was salty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. sad. I was just sick, like, dang, they got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, did you, well, in that jail that you came from, were they letting you outside at all? Uh uh-uh. uh So getting and outside in like a couple weeks. Yeah, and that's another thing. I got to keep telling myself that you weren't in jail really yeah. so much. You were out I there again. Yeah, you were getting. As, as, soon as I have a bond, a a a, a, a bond that's not two hundred fifty thousand, I'm calling. Hey, yeah, go uh go look in that uh bookshelf and you'll get that. Mm-mm, I'm yeah. gone. Yeah, I want to know. Most That's people, right. man, they 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 do sit there in that jail for months, months, months. By the time they get Mind to prison, going crazy. yeah. By the time they get to the penitentiary and smell the fresh air, that's mm-hmm. just one of the best things to them. You know what I mean? So, all right, you get into. Well, was there any memorable moments, man? Just anything wild or funny, scary, anything that you might have seen throughout jail or classification, man? And CRC. So a lot of people don't know about CRC. Mm-hmm. CRC is where you go before you go to your main prison. And the guards in CRC are hectic, like treacherous, beating people up bad. Yeah, like I'm talking about doing people bad. Uh-huh. So when I was in the county, that's what they were saying. Like, be careful. Don't be going in there trying to go act crazy to the COs and stuff. So I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? So when you eat, they're trying to like, they're trying to like, it's just like, they want to set the tone to how you're going to eat in prison, but it's not the tone. But they're just trying to be militant, make you militant minded. So uh-huh. the way you, when you go eat, they make you eat. From the time you walk in the chow hall to the time you walk out, it's like they time it like six minutes or something short like that. So where you got to get your food, sit out, eat, and get up out of there. So I used to be so hungry. Mind you, I was tiny. I was like 140, 130. 
five ten when I went to prison, like a kid, baby face, everything. Mm -hmm. So I used to be, I used to be so hungry. So I remember one time, <laughs> and you, and you can't really get commissary in classification like this. Yeah, yeah. Only thing you can get is hygiene. Uh huh. So, so I remember I, I had snuck an apple in my state coat. Oh man, <laughs> I snuck an apple. So hey, they, they, they go, they go balls to the wall to find man. them damn apples and oranges, man. man. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm playing it cool. You know what I mean? I'm just walking back, shirt tucked in, ID, apple, ch apple chilling. <laughs> yeah, but you're not allowed doing that. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know. So I'm walking back to see how, hey, come here. I'm like, what's going on? This man walks over to me. I'm like, oh, you taking stuff out the chow hall? I'm like, I mean, I'm hungry. He's like, oh, okay, okay, here you go. And crushed it in my pocket. Oh, damn. And sent me back up, like, you got applesauce now. I'm like, oh, man. Okay. Man. Like, okay, okay. Well, I'm doing that again. <laughs> I was sick. You got, you got it. 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 That's funny, bro. I'm not gonna lie, sorry. man. That's yo sorry. dirty, man. <laughs> dirty. No fights or anything like that. No stabbings. No jumpings. You didn't see none of that in the jails or uh, I reception. I, was, I wasn't there long enough. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wasn't there long enough. Okay. But when I got to prison, I got to stay. I got to stay. I got to see all, see it all. All right, so uh, as soon as you get your stuff in the morning, you figure out what mm -hmm. prison you're going to. Uh, what was it, man? What was the name of that place? Lancaster. Lancaster. Okay, you already yep. said that. All right. Uh, Lancaster. And... No, 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 no. That's the prison. Yeah. That was the prison. The county, the county name was Lancaster too. Oh. They yeah, they had a prison. Oh, okay. That's yeah. why I was look. I was I was a little yeah. confused for the same reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the correctional. are they close together? Is it all in the it's same, like, like Lancaster, the county, or something? It's they're not. They're not like correlated. Like they're not related. Just the it's same name. It's just in the same city. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, and what level is Lancaster? The prison. Two. Level two. All right. Which mm -hmm. is. I've been in a level two, you know, and I've been in higher levels too. And level two was uh, pretty chill, but at the same time, it gets active still as prison. well. <laughs> it's still, still prison, prison, man. Yeah. And, you know, uh, level two, uh, lifers can still make it to that level, believe it or not, man. I, at least I've seen it. Uh, what about you? Definitely. They, yeah. Uh, involuntary homicide, homicide, yep. uh, all of that. And I'm talking about. These are people that didn't even get their level dropped. You know how sometimes they'd be in the higher level for yeah, five work years. For it. Man, I'm talking about coming through the gate. Wow. Yeah. Mass slaughters, mass slaughters, mass slaughters, homicides, homicides. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, that's crazy because it's not. It's I mean, it's prison, but it's like, dang, you can go to prison for a DUI and be housed right next to somebody that's a murderer. That's tough. Yeah, it is. That's tough. We're going into Lancaster, man. man. Uh, how was that going in? Oh, so now I remember that bus ride, the bus ride from the CRC to Lancaster. Now that one was a little crazy because you got to pick up people from other counties. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then everybody jump on and then everybody got to use the bathroom. They was peeing on the bus. God. People peeing out the window. They, they put the music on for us. Hold on, man. Out the window? Out the window. COs let him do it? You, they was in the back, and they was chained up. Like, I'm like, I seen it. I'm like, oh, man. They wilding. Like, and I they didn't, they didn't stop him? No, nah, they didn't care. They didn't wow. Care. Like, they was shackled up. Like, like you get shackled to another person, and they was, like, standing up on the seat, peeing out the window. I'm like, that's tough. It ain't that serious. <laughs> I promise you. I Bro, so. I promise I would have pissed on myself because I've been scared I would have gotten caught or someone would have seen that. I'm getting bad paperwork then, you know? Man. <laughs> That's wild. I've that never heard of it. That was on the way to prison. That is a crazy way to go to prison, man. All right. They, had to, uh, they put the music on for us, man. They listen to the radio. Wow. That's a, I ain't never, never even knew prison bosses had radios like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, That's definitely different. I like different stories. Um. You're riding in the bus, picking people up from county to county. Uh, yep. uh, it's wild to see that, too, you know, because we had to stop at a spot where multiple buses met up and we all got into one. So it's crazy field to trip. see how everybody's just yeah, this little prison field trip. A funnel, a funneling <laughs> and consolidation of inmates from all over into one bus. Man, it's wild, man. Uh, 
Anyways, all right, so you're going in, mm -hmm. level two. Yep. You're going to get your uniform and stuff. How's that, man? Anybody putting the pressure on, or are you just kind of, you know, chilling? Okay. So uh, when we get off the bus, like, everybody can see us coming in. Uh -huh. but you got to go into the quartermaster first. Quartermaster. Yeah. Like, okay. You get your clothes and all of that. You get your mm -hmm. bag, your, uh, your net bags. You get your locker box. And then they're telling you what dorm you're going to. They tell you what dorm you're going to. Like, oh, so so you going here, you going here. They get to me. They're like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to I dorm and don't check out. Oh, like, and don't man. check in. Don't oh. check in. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what you mean? He, you heard what I said? It's an inmate though, and he and he telling him like, yeah, you, you about to go over there. Don't check out. Don't check in. Don't do none of that. So I'm like, okay, so. They give me my box. Mind you, them boxes is heavy. Like them steel boxes. I don't know if they metal or steel or whatever it is. And this a it's a remind me this. This how they make the tattoo stuff. But it's these metal boxes. They like they foot lockers. And you got to carry them with all your stuff in it. You got to carry them to your dorm. Damn. Yep. So I carry I... mine to my dorm. And you, when you get in there, you got to put it down. Tell them your name and they'll tell you your rack. Man, I walked in there, put my box down. I will, will, will. Man, oh, I hear like man. I hear like I hear like four or five of the homies from my neighborhood. Oh you know man. man, you're all right. I'm I'm chilling, but let me tell people that's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. That's bittersweet. That's gonna drive into how I got remind me again to, to my first time in the hole. Their enemies just became yours, probably, huh? Anything, anything. But I'm not tripping though, because we all under the same organization, so got I don't care. Okay. Uh, okay. This, this is what I signed up for. You know yeah. What I mean? Uh huh. Yep. I could just jump right into it because go yeah, go up, ahead, man. Paint it up. Because listen, I went to I went to store. I went to I, I was trying to think. I went to store. It was like a store day for us, or the next day was a store day. So I'm like, oh, it's lit. So uh -huh. I go to the store. I get a big old thing of Kool Aid, some red Kool Aid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I get some Kool Aid. I, I'm making a bowl. I'm only here two days, bro. Two days. And I'm watching somebody's TV. They you know they got cable in there. Yeah. So I was watching first 48. Oh. I'm, watching first man. 48. I'm eating a bowl. I'm chilling. I'm like, prison ain't too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mind you, two days. <laughs> so somebody come in, Will, uh, one of your homies just got into it. Duh, 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 duh. Come down to the gym. So I'm like, all right, oh bet. man, here we go. Two days. So I shoot down to the gym. One of my homies get into it with somebody, the whole gym in there, man. It's like, bro, prison is like high school, bro. So it's it like, it's like help people in there crowd around and then my homie looking for the dude he trying to fight and nobody sees him so some dude come out and we out there just standing there's probably like 200 people out there just standing and i'm just i'm new so my homie like uh we, we wait on him to come out i mean with my organization we wait on him to come out so he come somebody come out so my homie like that's him right there immediately i took off on him do -do 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 -do. in front of everybody went crazy so man why was it the wrong dude you beat up the wrong guy, bro. Oh, the wrong dude. Oh, no. Man, went to the hole. Say it so ain't so. Through. Say it ain't so. <laughs> but but before <laughs> but before I went to the hole, I didn't know that you're not supposed to put your food inside your locker box like your like a like a drink. So I put my drink inside my locker box and I locked it. Uh -huh. And I shot down to the gym. Man, you know, they take your locker box down to the hole when you go they to the hole. Spill hoe. everything in that. Man, all my legal work, all my stuff had red stuff on it. So oh, my whole beard. Yeah. Yeah, that's horrible, man. Uh, man, guilty by association. Quickly, seems like people be busting, cracking heads with them locker boxes, man. Mm, kinda, not really though, because it's like if 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 they're heavy, so it's like you're not really gonna get a lot of force if you're trying to pick it up. You had to get them out there sleeping or something. Yeah, yeah, they would do that with the lock in a sock or something like that, or batteries oh. in a sock. Oh, so that was a common theme out there with some you know? yeah, lock in a sock, batteries in a sock, or the stay soap in a sock. You know that stay soap hard too. All right, well, hey, let me ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first went in, they had Lisa bars of soap, and they were big and and hardy, right? Now they got the little yeah, the it's thin like joints. it's like little thin pieces of like little like little crack plates or something <laughs> that's a fact that's what it literally looks like though yeah yeah yeah. all right so um damn what was i gonna say man oh yeah being a part of an, or of an organization or anything like that were you forced to carry any weapons or anything like that uh-uh no okay okay uh, -uh. uh i wasn't people 
it's like usually people put you in that position if they thank you that or if you know what I mean. I'm not no nobody to be hold nobody's weapon. I hold my own. I do my own dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. But nobody bigger than the program. But give me a give me another position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I oh no, that. I'm talking about not like a hold down, man. I'm talking about just oh, okay, carrying okay. it in general. Were you like kind of had to do that at points? Nah, it's they just be in a designated area. Okay. <sighs> Would you say uh, people in this prison were doing the lone wolf status and surviving just fine? No, sir. No, everybody, sir. Everybody was with somebody. Really? Yeah, everybody was with somebody. What but about? It, it'd be scattered out people that was like neutral. Yeah. But then, like, people would try to like pick on them, but I, I wasn't on that. You know, I'd be like, I'd be like, if they're not gang banging, don't mess with nobody that's not gang banging. We gang bang and come mess with us. Like, like, you know what I mean? That's not cool. I don't like that. Yeah. I never like that. I never like that. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that either, man. Oh, uh, rip. From day one, I never was on that. But that was the common theme, even in the places I've seen. If you weren't affiliated, you're were definitely gonna be a part of uh, some kind of shark activity of your week. It's just the way it goes. Yeah, it's just the way it goes, especially if you're white too. Uh and, and then they, they, they excuse me. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be in prison. Yep. Uh what were some of the things that, let's say, uh, someone that went into this prison, if they weren't banging, what, what would come their way? Extortion? Any? Was there anybody in there known to be taking cheeks? Anything like that? Um, not really. Not really on the taking cheeks part because where I was at, a lot of times when people would get into those activities, it, they be wanting to do it. Yeah, they be wanting to do it. Like that's that's, yeah. that's common. Yeah, that's usually how yeah. it goes. Uh. I feel like some of these old head ex cons, it's almost as though they can, they have a, that are like cheek bandits. You know, I feel like mm -hmm. they got some kind of sixth sense that they know exactly who they can do it to, man. Yeah. Who, who's just right at that brink that all it needs is a little, man, and that's it. You know, it's so, psychological. Yeah, it's, it's psychological. they definitely know they're they're like hunters, man, for sure. You know, what predators. I mean? It's literally the, the the definition of a predator, literally. Yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, you're in here uh, two days. You go, you get into the situation with homeboy. Wrong guy, wrong yes, guy. Uh, wrong guy. What they do? They sent you to the seg unit. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. I went to the home. Mm -hmm. I went to H1. It's called H1. The dungeon. The dunny. I went to the dungeon. I was down there for like a week. Then they put me, they put me back in the same the same um dorm. Same, same dorm, huh? Same dorm. Listen, listen at this though. I was I put me back in the same dorm. I wasn't tripping like. The homies in here, I'm not tripping. So um I was in there for another two weeks. Guess what happens? <laughs> I'm in there for two weeks and I was working in the chow hall. So I was working in the chow hall. Uh -huh. So I went to work at, you know, they come get you early to work in the chow hall, breakfast joint. So I was working for breakfast and I was in there till like six o'clock. Yeah, they so wake it, you up like four thirty, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then you get you know, go to the line, you gotta serve or whatever you do in the in the chow hall. Then after it's like 10, 10 30, maybe ten o'clock, ten o'clock or something, and they sent you back to the dorm. So ten o'clock had came and I was telling the CO in, in charge, like, hey man, look, um, I've been here since six. It's my time to go back. You know what I mean? He like, he like, um, okay, give me a second. So he like, give me a second. So one of my other friends, well, not even friends, the person that I knew in there got to arguing with the CO, right? Right before I had got in there. Mm -hmm. So um, when he was arguing with the CO, I asked him again because I was reminding him. Then he tripped out on me. I told you, MF, I'm going to send you back. Da, 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 da. He's snapping on me because he was arguing with dude. Yeah, yeah. Man, this man put his hand on my shoulder. Man, we got to tussling. Boom him on the ground. Listen, boom, we want to CO? The CO. Mind you, I'm only in prison three weeks, four weeks. So we get the we get the wrestling. I boom me on the ground. So I ain't get on top of him or nothing because I, I wasn't on that. I just wanted him to, I'm a man, you're a man. Keep your hand off of me. Hold on, hold on. He puts your hand, his hand he, on your he shoulder. He put his hand on my shoulder. Was it like, aggressively? Or super was it... aggressive. Super oh, aggressive. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay. Like, he didn't even tell me to cuff up or nothing. He put his hand on my shoulder like, like what? So I... Weave and you know what I mean? Mind you, so the dude that was arguing with the CO initially, where do you think he went back to? He got up out of there. Yeah. He went back to the dorm. So now the, the officer hit his man down. You know the man down. And yeah, the little, little hit, red button or something on him. Hit his, man, everybody come in running from different dorms, different pods. So now 
they 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 ain't, but they ain't beat me up or nothing. It was this was weird because I I was like, dang, I know I'm about to get beat up or nothing. I ain't get beat up or nothing. I guess they didn't like the CO or whatever that I had got into it with the other COs did. Uh-huh. So they cuffed me up and sent me to the hole. So now I'm thinking like, okay, now I'm about to get sucked off because if you get into it with a CO, yeah, that's an automatic raise your level. Yep. So now I'm thinking I'm about to go to Lebanon or Ross or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't tripping though. So I, I was down there smoking cigarettes with Amigo homie that had to smuggle some cigarettes. Down uh, there. down the SEG unit. Yep. Man, yep, yep. I was I was down there for a week. Yeah. They let me back out. I went to I went to court. You know, you got to go to court down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh RIB. Yeah, the little disciplinary board. Yep, yeah, the okay, rule okay. infraction board. So I went up there and they asked me what happened. I'm like, the CO put his hands on me. Da, da, da. So they gave me a not guilty and they sent me back to the same door. Bro, yeah, that just goes to show you right there. They know that that mm-hmm. CO was in the wrong, yeah. bro. They yep, probably they seen the footage before mm-hmm. they even came to get you. You know, exactly. someone was probably watching and said, "Look, exactly, don't put your hands on him no more." They exactly. already did. Exactly. That's crazy. If you look, you, and it was on camera. It was right under camera, right yep. under view. That's probably what really, really saved you, yep. bro. Look, they ain't give me no points or nothing. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that. When you get charged, it's in in prison. You got to go in front, especially of fighting a CO or something. Ninety nine point nine percent of any charge, you ain't getting found not guilty. So for him to not get found not guilty, bro, I would say him, you might have a lawsuit on your hands right now. Man. Man. <laughs> not even playing, but that, bro. But at that time, I took it. You know what I mean? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't call home about. It. I ain't say nothing about it. Yeah. I'm like. I'm like. I ain't about to get my level raised. I ain't about to get in no more trouble. I ain't about to get no time taken away or nothing. They sent me back to the dorm, and then I was in there. I ain't get in trouble for a minute. I was I was chilling. That's what's up, man. Damn, that's that's a crazy crazy story. All right, uh, so you're going back to the same prison, uh, to the dorm, same dorm. Uh oh yeah, so level two, it's dorm set, open dorm. And that was a culture shock to me too because I thought I was about to when I when I was envisioning myself going to prison, I was envisioning the cell, not uh. A big old garage with three hundred racks on it, <laughs> with different with different streets. What was they call it? Yeah, different yeah, streets, cutways, alleys. And that joint was crazy. I I I never fathomed that. That that's crazy. Yeah, it is wild, man. But one thing's for sure, right? Uh, you're never alone in there. <laughs> never alone at all. <laughs> you always got someone to talk to. You know, mm-hmm. uh, that was the only good thing if you're to ask me about. The dorm setting, uh, <laughs> somebody to kick it with. Yeah, someone to kick it with, man. That yeah. you know, and and you know, just something about it. It's a little more freedom feeling than being in a cell. But at the same time, I liked cells better. You know, two man cells was better for me. I mean, was there any kind of learning experiences that you had to go through that you probably would never do again if you went to prison? Um, say what you mean. Like, did you learn? Is there anything that you learned? Uh, from doing time that you say to yourself, no, I'm not going to, if I were ever get locked up again, I wouldn't do that again. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me think. 99% of everything. <laughs> for sure, because, because I don't like it. I, Did you... I didn't like no, no bit of it. Yeah. I ain't Did... like fighting. I ain't like pulling out weapons, using weapons. I, ain't, I didn't like none of that because I like living a certain type of way. You know what I mean? But that's a part of the way that I was living, so I wasn't complaining. But now, I don't like living that way. I don't like conforming to the stuff I had to conform to. Like I remember, I I had I got a tour with a dude in like Columbus. We was the biggest population in the prison, mm-hmm. and then it, it's like a trickle down effect. It's Columbus, then it was Cincinnati, then it was like Cleveland. You know the felons, all of them. So, a lot of times, people used to think we used to try to bully people. And, and like do like little slick stuff. So I remember one time, right? I was at the phone, and uh, you know how it be. Everybody, it, it was like a roll of phones, and mm-hmm. um, nobody's in line but me. Nobody's in line but me. And I own up to my stuff. If I do some slimy stuff, I'm gonna tell you I was slime. So, uh, but I really, really, I really wasn't doing anything. So I was waiting on the phones, but I didn't have my phone book. You know, you need that phone book. Yeah, 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 so, yep, yeah, yeah. So I went back to get my phone book. To my rack, and when I came back, it was people in line, and it was time for a phone to come open. At the same time, I'm getting back, 
And I was like, hold on, bro. I was on that. Like, I'm, I was next. And then dude, big old dude, he probably like 6'3", three, like 300. He's like, nah, uh, y'all Columbus dudes always trying to get over it. Oh, man. <laughs> you know I mean? And it's a situation now. Yeah, it's, it's a, a situation. situation. Yeah. Because I really wasn't trying to get over it. But even if I wasn't trying to get over, you're not about to tell me that oh, you about to, you know what I mean? So I'm like, whatever. So I, I get the, I get the pull, uh, pull the phone out, and I get the dialing. Man, why he hit my phone? Hit the thing? Banged you know I mean? on it, huh? Bang, he banged my phone. So I'm like, all right, come on, get there right now. So I had to go put my shoes on. Then we get it. We got the squabbling, and uh, it was like an even fight. Like, I, but I busted his eye though. I busted his eye. So we went back. We went back and uh, to the. He went his way, and I went back my way. Now, listen, I'm going to tell people, don't let nobody put no battery in your back because the situation wasn't that deep. So I go back to my rack, and I'm just sitting there chilling, and uh, I see the corner, uh, big old dude, big old dude that was high up in the organization. So he like, he like, yeah, uh, he like, yeah, little cuz, huh? So he opened up, he opened up like a, like a towel. Man, that thing was about this, you feel me? Oh, banger. A banger, and I'm like, wait, I'm was like, this after the banging of the phone? This was after the fight. I mean, after, he, I mean, after the fight over the he, phone. He, he banged my phone over the phone. Yeah, he banged my phone. We went in there, and fought expeditiously, and then we and I went back to my rack, and then dude bit the corner all in ten minutes. And dude, ten brought, minutes. And yeah, he bought he bought a, a, a blade, a sword, like a, <laughs> a, he bought a katana over there. Oh my! So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, nah, you good, <laughs> big bro. Like, it ain't even, <laughs> I'm like, nah, it's good. It ain't even all that deep because it wasn't. Oh. But mind you, this dude got lying. Yeah, they, he, don't care, they don't care about watching you get uh, get get, get up there time. with them. Yeah, I, I got thirty months. I'm about to go back home. Like, if it's a situation like that where somebody trying to play with my man or to play with my respect or play with me as a man, then I would have felt that was needed. But we ain't got to do all that now. All right, come on now, bro. I can't even imagine someone do that to me. I'd be like, I would have been, bro. I'd be like, bro, look, 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 look. Man, you go ahead and wrap that back up, man. man. I'm, I'm about to go play Scrabble, dog. Yeah, this like, is this over with. No, this is over with. This ain't no gang stuff. This ain't no nothing. This is simple. Me. Hey, uh, mm -mm. let me ask you this though. Okay, uh, Col being from Columbus and that has the most numbers and all that. Mm -hmm. What about rival organizations from Columbus too? Did y'all still click up even though y'all from Columbus, or were y'all still kind of at odds? Uh, it was a, it was a lot of everybody joining unless you had a certain problem with this side or that side, and then. You go handle it, but at the end of the day, we all Columbus. You ain't gonna okay. take it, but if something pop off, then everybody gonna be on that. If okay. You all got like a conglomerate, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times, people just for themselves for real. Yeah. In that in that situation. It's wild, man. Uh, we said this was in 2012. You got 30 months, so I'm guess yeah. you ain't never go back. I'm guessing or violate no, probation. Mm -hmm. Excellent, no, I, man. I didn't. I didn't violate probation because, like, I smoke. Like, I smoke heavy. I still do. Like. All of that, but what I did was I got my card. A medical, medical card. card. Yeah. I got and, mine uh, too. I'm not in the state yeah. for it no more, but I did okay. get mine. Yeah. Uh, they was... can't say nothing to you. Nope. They can't None. say nothing to Nothing, you. Nothing, man. It's just, it's it's a good feeling too, especially when you've been in love with the greens for so man. long. You know what I mean? Man. But all right, uh I mean, is there any before we get into what you got going on now, because uh, he, he's came on to tell his story, but I really want people to go follow his content, man. Everybody Appreciate should that. support Appreciate individuals that. that are out here doing the right thing now. That's the key. They're doing the right thing, change your life around. And you got some content going on. Uh, sure. Before we get into it, is there anything else, any memorable moments or anything that you mm. can speak on about doing your time in Ohio? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave y'all one crazy story. Oh my, and, let's uh, do it, let's do it. Okay, so I'm not a thief. I've never been a thief. I uh, never, I never, none of that. Uh uh, I don't uh -huh. respect thief or none uh -huh. of that. Like none of that. Okay. So, a lot of young dudes, or not even young dudes, but people still. Oh yeah. This, this one little young dude, he probably had like 13 years. Little bitty dude, and um, he stole from the Migos. He stole from the Migos. Why the Migos, man? I don't know. Before we get into that, man, how mm -hmm. was their numbers? Because over in Virginia, there were 
very few amigos uh, in there. It was it was a couple. Yeah. It was a couple. Yeah, it was a couple. They're usually they're usually legitimate though. You know what I mean? Yeah. The ones that are there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're It was a it was a few legit ones. You know, there's gonna be a few legit ones everywhere, but it was a few it was a few cool of them. All right. Uh so he happens to steal from them. What happened? Man, he stole from this man. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't understand because the dude was like cool. Like like you're not supposed to steal from anybody, but you know what I mean? Dude was man, he stole from this man. I remember it was like a probably like 10 o'clock right after they did count or something like that it was around that time and uh, a lot of the amigos was porters like you know porters are like right? trustees right kind of yeah 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 yeah. so they like when they, when everybody got to lock up lock in they'd be out cleaning oh houseman houseman that's what we called them or hitting the owls or something or doing, yeah. doing something yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? so i remember the little black dude was in there asleep he used to take those uh I forget what those one joints is the Seroquels. Oh, lay you down, Seroquel. Huh? So, yeah, so <laughs> so uh the Migo, it was one on the bars, he's standing on the bars, you know what I mean? Watching the watching the other Migo, and I just kept seeing him do this. Like every five minutes, he just kept doing that. What? He just kept doing this. What the hell does that mean? He was doing it at the at the microwave. Oh, uh, he's in. trying to sling something on him or something? He, he he probably did it probably like 10 times. He heated up some baby oil. Oh, yeah. They, there, that, was the, that was the key. Hey, well, so they knew this guy stole from him. They knew it. They knew it instantly because he was a newborn on the pod, and ain't no, nobody else going to do that because everybody been in here big. Like, and it was something petty, like some soups or something. Like, he couldn't mm. just ask for it. But, man... When I tell you, they op- he opened up the door and then dude bought it in while the little dude was still asleep. Man, threw that baby oil on that man. I'm talking about a scream that I never, that, that would never leave my brain. I'm talking, oh, oh. I'm Welcome talking about, to Sizzlers. Ooh, it's a Sizzlers. And you got to understand the dynamics of throwing hot baby oil on somebody. Yeah. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're when gonna, somebody throws something on you, you can rub it off. You're gonna rub it off, and then when you rub it off, that man turned into Freddy Krueger, bro. His whole face melted off. I'm talking about. Oh! So that's <clears> that. that I'm, and I'm saying that story for people to not steal. Yeah. Don't steal. For sure. For sure, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's facts. <laughs> that's <a> fact. <laughs> Look, I was a thief from here to Kingdom Come on the streets in prison. No, no. There was only one time I took, well, two technically. It's one time I didn't mean to, but the other time I took some cigarettes from from a close by cell person that I didn't really like. But other than that, bro, I knew better than to take anything in lockup because you could definitely get got for sure very quick, man. Nobody likes a thief, and I've seen people that didn't even get stolen from stand yeah. stand up for the dudes that got stolen from, you know, but. Not white. Usually, it wasn't a white guy. White guys, you get mm-hmm. stolen from. Nobody's standing up for him. You know, <laughs> that's just reality. Yeah, it is. It, I'm sad to say. You know, it's a different world in some states for white guys. But uh those are some good stories, man. I'm glad Appreciate you have uh, heard them, and uh, I'm sure you probably got some more. Maybe we'll do a little update later yeah. on down the road if you remember Let some. Me know. Let me know. Uh, but let's hear what you got going on now, man. You've been out for how long? I'm guessing like a few years, uh, five years. Uh, Wait, longer uh, than that. When when October come, it'll be 10. 10 clip. That's about, a, yeah, I've been out for about maybe a little longer than 10. So that's mm-hmm. that's good, though, man. Uh, that's a fact, yeah. To, yeah you're off papers, so, I'm guessing? Yeah, I got off of that like two years in. Like yeah. Two years in, I'm good. Off papers, out of prison, never went back, man. You're beating the odds, and that is definitely people I like to support, man. What What do you got going on now? Uh, so now I do like full reviews or like just product reviews, honestly, on my page on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Y'all can follow me uh, on my Instagram and YouTube at Low Will Bands six one four, and that's L I L W I L L B A N D S six one four. You know what I mean? I do full reviews. Uh, I I've been working on my cannabis reviews. I've been working with like a lot of companies and stuff like that. Just like anything. And uh, I'll be doing camping. I'll be cooking. I do whatever. What do you think is your favorite thing to do when it comes down to your content? Um, probably the food reviews. 
probably the food reviews or cooking. Either one of them, the food reviews or cooking, because I like I travel a lot. Like I travel a lot. Like Virginia, one of my spots. I remember because like oh, my yeah? team is yeah, my team is the Ravens. So like that whole DMV area. Yeah. Hold on. Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say, man, because Virginia ain't got no damn professional yeah, teams. Yeah, no, no, no. I said the, the DMV area. Yeah, 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 yeah. I we stop all... at all of them. When I when I come in that area, I stop in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. All yeah. of them. Yeah, man. Uh, gotta be careful though, especially in Virginia. I'm in and out. I'm you might in and you out. might leave on probation. Well, it's a lot safer now that they legalize old mm -hmm. greenery, but. All right, man. Food reviews, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and anything that he might be having going on in the future, I strongly recommend y'all go over there and support him, man. You know, ex-con doing what he's supposed to be doing. You can't beat that. You know, that's what we look for on this channel. And I'm going to keep everything sure, linked in the comment section below for y'all to go check him out. Make it nice and easy for y'all, man. And uh, look, you just keep doing what you're doing out there, sure. man. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate you telling your story and... Anything else you like to say to the people or anything? Yeah. Uh, before we close, uh, I don't know if everybody any did this. Everybody any did this before, but I'm challenging you to a, a little prison cookoff. I seen Ooh. what you did with that pizza. I seen that. I seen what you did with that pizza. I was over here like, okay. Hey, okay. okay. I've seen a few people do some cookoffs, man, but I was never invited. See, that's the thing, man. See, you invite. Let's do it. We can, we can have we can have the viewers pick the item, give them some choices. That's right. I was doing whatever. I was, I was cooking a lot in there. Like I was, I had some some fire stuff. I was cooking. Well, there. you got great camera quality. You got great audio quality. So I could definitely do a cook off with you, man. So, Locked it in. Locked ladies it in. and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave it in the comment section there, uh, and you can let us know what y'all want to see us make, and maybe we'll get it done. You know what I mean? Right. But hey, bro, you keep doing what you're doing out there, and. Uh, you know, that's it, man. Stay free at all costs. You know man, what I mean? Yes, sir. All right. Salute Appreciate to you, it. my friend. Until the next time.